Hey guys, it's the History Nerd, and we are back with another exciting episode of Silent Hunter 5. Before we get too far into this, I just want to apologize for two things. One, you might hear meowing or whatnot in the background. My new apartment is very tiny. If my cat feels like letting his presence be known, you're probably going to hear it, so I do apologize. Two, I'm also sorry for not putting up a video last night. I had every intention to. I don't know if I said I would <clears throat> or not, but I did have every intention to until... I checked out Steam and noticed Skyrim was on sale. <clears throat> Excuse me while I take a sip of coffee. Um, so I bought it because it was 13 bucks for the full-on edition, started playing it, and um, yeah, I wouldn't say I'm full-on uh, blown away or taken by it, but it is a pretty, pretty decent game. Uh, I'm not usually much for the old wizardry and... RPG type things. Uh, I usually prefer RPGs like Fallout, but I figured, hey, let's give it a try for 13 bucks. Can't go wrong. And uh, yeah, it's not bad. It's uh, I'm gonna be playing it as soon as I'm done this. Well, this video saves and uploads. So, um, plans, right? We're waiting on the British supplies to come and for the Winston specials to come. They should be coming into this very region. I think both of them should be. And, uh, yeah. So we're just going to be hanging out, waiting for those. Uh, who knows how long it's going to take for them to get here. But, once one of them does, we'll sink them. So, uh, that's it. Pretty much for the intro. Short, sweet, to the point. And you even get a couple of meows for my cat. Because it's just the way things are going to be going now. Wicked. Alright guys, I will see you when I got something to sink. All right, so using Benno's special abilities, uh, we were able to, or I was able to, um, <clears throat> track down some convoys. Now, there was a small convoy that was moving quite quickly. It was two destroyers and a uh, freighter. And they were going about 17 knots. And uh, by the time I picked them up, they were up about here, continually heading east. So there's no chance I could get them. I have a feeling those are the Winston specials. Um, anyway, ignoring the Winston special for now, we've got another convoy, a large convoy coming in, and something tells me we're going to be in a very nice position to just sort of, you know, pick them off one by one. So we're just going to speed up time here. Bearing two, nine... Well, this task force slowly oh. comes in to view. Come on now. See, I don't think going into travel mode would help me here. So I just have to kind of keep. We have a task force inside. Bearing three zero two. Keep advancing time acceleration. <laughs> we have a task force inside. Bearing three. One, nine. Okay. We've got to be in range now, I would think. Let's see. It looks like these are all just merchants. It doesn't look like there's a single escort ship to be found, which is kind of surprising. Where is they at? They is nowhere. We, uh... Oh, no. There we go. Tracking you target. Way in the back. So it's a it's apparently a very foggy day. Well, and apparently we're also kind of out of range, huh? Yeah. My bad there. Full speed ahead. Let's pick it up to full speed ahead. I think we got the battery power to suffice. Yeah, we should be able to to move in on these guys. Task force sighted bearing. Three, three, one. Let's check on a couple things here. Battery power, we're still looking like we're doing just fine. Discovered today the tap key opens that up. Had no idea. So, uh, lessons learned. Just, it's always exciting to learn new things, you know? I think, anyway. Alright. <clears throat> Let's get in here, and yeah, no, you're not going to give me control of my periscope? There we go. 
So we got the lead ship there. And uh, as you can see, we're uh, still kind of out of range. How quick are these guys going anyway? 10 knots. Now, there are going to be Q ships. There's no question about that. What we got. I could just do another salvo shot <clears throat> and um, see where they go. What I might just do, though, is um, maybe just one? I don't know. The salvo shot kind of worked. But it was also a pretty big waste of torpedoes, if I'm honest. Uh, let's see. We kind of want to move like that. No, we had that right. Yeah, we kind of want to move like that. Uh, let's just make sure to drop that down. And I would probably yeah, like Three, one, two. to keep my speed going. Target marked. Hold on, though. Let's cut our All speed, stop. actually, because otherwise we will overshoot the shot. And nobody wants to overshoot the shot. <clears throat> I'm not going to bother identifying and trying to put this under. Um, I think we've established last time that it's just not going to work. So I should be okay shooting a little bit behind. But I'd rather make sure this just hits. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And in three, two, one. Firing two, one. Alright, so that's that ship taken care of. I don't think we can get any shots on that ship, but we can probably get a shot if we now speed up. In fact, if we adjust our course so that we kind of come more into the ships, well, something like that maybe. And I'm fairly confident that that is going to be a just fine shot. And then we should be able to get this up. I'm hoping on a two. Can I? Thank you. How's that torpedo looking? Oh, that's looking lovely. Let's go take a look. Lead ship. I mean, they're going to know we're here, but they were going to find out anyway. Torpedo impact. Well, that's a kill shot. It's very much a kill shot. We tore off the front of the ship. Must have been carrying explosives or ordnance or ammunition or something. Something that went boom. We're going to need to kick this up so we are going faster. So I think we got ourselves into a nice position, however, just a little slow on the uptake um, with the hitting of of the uh, of the ships. What am I trying to say? Good positioning, um, but I could have been quicker on getting into a better spot for the actual interception to take place. Um, and of course, draining the battery power right now may not be the best bet for, you know, taking out the entire convoy. We shall see. We got another shot coming up here, and tube two. Firing tube. Close. Let's pull that up, and there should be one more ship Tracking along the target. near edge here. So we can probably All stop. cut our engines and, um, yeah, get them as they come by on three. Task force sighted. Bearing three, so that's going to be five, another hit. Torpedo impact. I don't want to jinx myself or anything, but we have yet to get a dud torpedo. 
Sure, we've had some very crappy shots. That might not be a good hit. We'll find out. That might be just a little bit ahead. I have a feeling this guy's taking evasive maneuvers. So, um, yeah. We have a task force inside May not be the best. How's that guy looking? Just a big hole in him. That guy's definitely sinking. Let's go pick a new target, shall we? These guys should be panicking, so they should be slowing down. Let's go ahead and get into the middle. And I'm not really certain about this shot. It might hit. Mm, you see, if that was magnetic, that it was actually magnetic, that would probably have been a hit. Let's get out of the map view and just see if I can't um, get sort of another retaliation shot here, just to make sure this guy goes down. I guess we'd be looking at shooting on one, or just kind of, you know, taking a look at how that's going to intersect and doing some math. My god, I can't imagine that. And, yeah, the prospect of wasting another torpedo shot isn't exactly Slow speed ahead. something I want to we have do. A task force inside. Bearing two, nine, three. Let's see. Still not quite ready for that shot. We should be getting pretty close, though. It is a bit of a curve. No question about that. Actually, let's load a tube, shall we? I think so. Tube four. Tube four. Los. There we go. Task force. <clears throat> so now that should take a crazy turn, and that will be a hit. Torpedo impact. Alright, so that's three down. Nice big hole there. Let's go check on... That guy is definitely sinking, and this guy also has a nice big hole. So we've got one for sure. Two damaged. And let's cut our engines. All stop. In fact, let's just go Back's back up. slow for a bit. Slow us right down. One knot. All stop. Disengage. Mainly I don't want to ram this ship. Which, um, you know, would possibly happen. We continued on our course. I could go deeper, uh, but that does take time. And 40 meters is a bit of a drop. I'd be concerned we wouldn't be able to get back. Torpedo missed, sir. All right, we can Half go ahead, speed ahead. Get back going and move into the more central region of the convoy and hope to pick off some more guys. Task force sighted. Bearing yeah, three, we'll be fine. Three, two. All right, so it looks like we've got a straggler back here. Hello. We got two one up. And very shortly, we should have a shot on two. We have a task force inside. Bearing three, four, zero. Of course, he is pulling maneuvers like a madman. I can't say I blame him though. That is looking like a pretty juicy shot. Tube two, ready. And tube one. Firing tube Close. one. All right, let's load up tube two and see if we can't pick anybody off. How quick are these guys going anyway? Eight knots. So if we, let's just check our battery power. 42%, that should be fine. If we pump this up to four, we should theoretically be able to get in there. Let's watch this torpedo hit, because I'm fairly confident we'll be a hit. And any second now. Torpedo impact. Another nice big hole. That's four. Only one confirmed kill, and that's okay. 
we got plenty more time in the day. We're still not, um, not really catching them, are we? Not really. Tracking new target. So let's just take a look. We might, I mean, I, I really do not enjoy blind firing torpedoes. But, huh, we, we take a look at our torpedo complement too. Three, three, we got three. two shots in the front left, so let's try and make these guys actually count. Should I concentrate on the ships that are on fire but haven't sunk? Let's just take a look. It should be listing a little bit, and that guy is... This guy should be listing a bit more. It's not really noticeable. We can see these ships are indeed armed, which explains the lack of escort. So I'm even less tempted to get up and... Closing to two. Target marked. Uh, ...do any sort of, you know, deck gun shooting. Come on. Give me my periscope, please. Thank you. So continuing on this course, yeah. All stop. See, my big fear here is that we're just not going to be able to get a good rear-facing shot on this guy for quite a while. But I have a feeling the rest of these guys are kind of kind of off limits. I've, I've limited myself to these guys down here. So, hmm. I guess what I could do is put three more torpedoes in these guys and just really make sure we finish them off. Hmm. These guys should be going slower. Am I right in that assumption? Five knots. Five knots. Five knots. Yeah. These guys are going to be a much easier target to sink. I'll so let's go that, that route. <clears throat> we can get the Close front tube with the front five. tubes, and then this guy in the back we can finish off with our rear-facing torpedo tube, and then call it a day for this convoy. We'll need to return to Lorient and get some supplies, though. We are desperately low of torpedoes, and we're, uh, whoops. We're running, you know, fairly low on fuel. We could do to, to refresh that. And, of course, the hull needs some scratches buffed out. Because, uh, well, you know, it's tough to pilot these things sometimes. Two, three, ready. All right, we got all three of our tubes ready and waiting. <clears throat> so let's just check on this guy in the back. Where are you at? There you Tracking are. target! Can we actually... We're very close to getting a shot on one. <clears throat> We're a little bit far out. But if we aim for, like, the front of the ship, right, then it should hit somewhere along the rear. Is my thought, anyway. Let's just speed this up. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Getting nice and close for a shot on one. And rear tube, tube five. Firing tube five. Close. That should end him. Tracking your target. And then, actually... If we just stop. stop. Torpedo impact. Yeah, I like hearing that. Oh, come on. I think that uh, freighter that we just hit the second time is definitely going to be going down. Come on. 
Come on. And tube two. Firing tube two. Close. Let's get tube three ready. And let's select the last ship. Target, We're going to need to hunt this guy down. Off speed ahead. Let's get going. We got the time. Let's investigate this guy. Fairly confident this guy's going to be going down. And this should be hitting relatively quickly. Right? Yeah, it's just going to take a little bit of time to get there. You can see the Defiant Periscope just sticking out of the water. Thankfully, it's night, making it very difficult to see us. And of course, the fact that these ships are unescorted also helps. Any moment now. Torpedo impact. Beautiful. That should be a killing blow to him, I would imagine. The entire front section of this ship should be absolutely flooded and destroyed now, which is good. We just got the last one to deal with now. I think we'd rather head that direction. We got control of my periscope back. Always an important thing. We'll just keep ourselves watching. Task force sighted. Bearing three, one, eight. Two, five, ready. And... Oh, come on. Don't need control of that right now. I need control of that. Now let's kick Full it up to speed, speed four. Hunt this guy down as quick as we possibly All can. Stop. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Full speed ahead. All right. Almost in range. This guy is pulling crazy maneuvers. So we do want to keep that in mind, but it looks like he's turning into, uh, quote-unquote, into where the torpedo will be going. Which is good, because then we can just hammer it home and collect our fourth kill of this mission, which it should be. Which should put a fairly large dent into those North Atlantic convoys we need to sink. I'm not sure of the actual tonnage, but we will find out quickly enough. Almost in range. Let's just maneuver that up a bit. And we're getting close. In three, two, one, tube three. Tube nope. three. Nope. All right, let's cut our engines. Because <clears throat> we don't necessarily need to be using up. Oh. That's not nice. Ship has a pretty severe list going on, though. Ah, that deck gun, though. That just concerns me. That is looking like a fairly decent deck gun. Um, what I'm worried about is if I want to pop up and do this... All right, let's do it right. Let's get our speed going. And at least this ship is on fire. So it should be pretty easy to hit him. That was probably way too high. There we go. We'll just drop it down a little bit, see if we can't get some... Get some good shots in, sorry. Train of thought stopped as I was pounding shells into the ship. I 
guy is severely on fire now. I have a feeling he's going to be going down. I just want to make sure. Perfect. The question is, do I want to hit any of these other ships? Let's see. How... We're over halfway done with just four ships sunk. <clears throat> oh, it's very tempting to continue the hunt, but we need to be smart about this. We have no torpedoes. Torpedoes are our lifeblood. So, come on, get up on deck. I think instead of continuing, we will call this a day. New waypoint. Course one, two, nine. Returning and get our butts course. down to Lorient. New waypoint. Course one, two, zero. Because we need fuel. We need, I would imagine, Course food and 70. other necessary things. Point. Course 61. Of course, critically, I wouldn't mind getting the hull point. repaired, although... Course 53. I should be there. Course 47. We are at 98%, which is near enough to 100. We probably don't need to advance time two weeks ahead. <clears throat> just to um Torpedo just to fix missed, sir. two uh two points of hull damage i don't think we need to fix that so uh plan is to get back to lorient resupply and then figure out you know where we're gonna go next um finishing off this uh british supply route that's not a bad idea and uh, it's relatively easy. Four more big freighters, and we're done. And there's a lot of there's a lot of convoys that come through this area, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, really, the the trick here for this stuff is going to be the Winston Specials, and I mean it's probably going to be a necessary thing to finish. So hunting down convoys that are going 17, 18 knots on the surface, it's tricky. It's, you don't get going that quick. Uh, underwater, you gotta kind of chase them down on the surface. Now, if the convoy that I did see was a Winston Special, it's two destroyers and one freighter. Two destroyers is um. Sorry, I thought I heard gunshots. Just want to make sure nobody's shooting at us while we flee. I think we're pretty safe. Uh, two destroyers on the surface is a pretty difficult thing to do when you're a U-boat. Uh, we're not designed to do that. We're designed to go under the water. So unless I can crank my underwater speed up somehow, which I don't think I can, I think I've got all the necessary upgrades for underwater running. What's this? Overcharged diesel engines. Yeah, you see, we don't need that. Um... It would greatly increase battery consumption, obviously, to do it. But that might be something we've got to do. Anyway, guys, I will be back when we get back to Lorient Harbor for some little bit of rest and repair. Although it's not going to be that much resting and there will be no repairing. So it's really just going to be a refuel and rearm stop. See you guys there. All right, so as you can see, we're off the uh, west coast of Ireland and uh, we've completed the Winston Special. I don't know how, maybe what the convoy we hit was part of it, I don't know. Uh, it looks like the convoy was considered to be part of both, which is freaking handy. I'm okay with that, but we got that done, so now we just need to get the British supplies done. And then we're going to be over halfway done the Western Approaches mission, which is pretty freaking exciting. Um, yeah, I, I was not expecting that, so uh, as, as you can see, seas are rough today rough and loud um yeah exciting times so uh hopefully if we get resupplied quickly and get back out there and hit a convoy early we can finish off british supplies today too which is amazing so um yeah i'll see you guys back in l'oreal so here's an interesting thing we got aircraft well off the coast of france which is concerning. Um, I'm going to have to send a personal letter to Reich Marshal Goering and say, hey, what the heck is your Luftwaffe doing 
allowing freaking British planes to come along. And not just British planes, but it looks like it's an anti-submarine bomber. So, what the heck, Gering? Where are the ME-109s to cover our asses while we sail into French harbors? That's what I want to know. Looks like he might not be taking any sort of interest in me, although I would imagine he'll be coming back around. Nope. Well, all right. I'm still writing that letter. That giant marshmallow. Not doing his job. All right, well, we should be pulling into port here relatively quickly. Let's cut down the time acceleration. Because we all know how dangerous this port is. What a beautiful day, though. Um, hello, destroyer. We, uh, we had some rough weather coming in, but it looks like it's just an absolutely lovely day in the south of France. I guess it's not really the south of France, is it? It's more the west of France. Still. I'm pretty Smoke happy with it. Yeah, let's just Cabin. slow it right down. Come on, you can do it, Three. game. We are in shallow waters, Captain. I think we should be a safe to sail through here. Ship sighted, bearing one four. And turn, turn, turn. There we go. All right, I'll actually wait to get into the harbor proper to spin ourselves Ship around. Bearing two six. All stop. Perfect. All right, let us refit. Let's just make sure everything's looking good. We got a full tank. We got a full load of torpedoes. We're loading up those tubes. Still only one promotion point, but I'm not that concerned about that. All right, let's pull a 180. New waypoint. Course. One seven five. Returning to Off, course. New waypoint. Course. One, and seven, then seven. basically. New waypoint. Course one eight four. Head back to the spot New we already point. were at. Course two zero eight. New waypoint. Course two three one. Avoiding New the waypoint. Royal Air Force course, as best two, as we can. Four, seven. And um, I guess we'll just go to that area there. Eee, that's dangerous. Ooh, that's getting close to running aground. We can see... We can see the dangerous sand just beneath us. Ooh, that was close. If that turn was any wider, we probably would have, quote-unquote... We are in shallow waters, Captain. ...died again. So, um... I'm glad, I'm glad that it isn't. Uh, we might wind up just nailing this boy a bit. Nope. Our wake would certainly disrupt it, though. But, uh, we're clear. All right. Now, as I'm sailing out of Lorient, there's just one thing I, um, want to mention. I've noticed a few comments lately. Ship sighted, bearing one. Granted, six, these are on five. much earlier videos in the series. But, um, you know, just, just things about how, like, Uplay isn't working, or if people can get codes for the game, or whatever. Um, I don't know anything about Uplay. It works for me without me having to do anything. So, if it's not working for you, I'd recommend going to, um, potentially the subsim forums. The guys there have a wealth of knowledge about any of these subsim games, um, uh, or even... You know, go to the Ubisoft or the Steam forums and just be like, look, here's what's going on. Give me a hand. I don't know. Because it works for me. So, uh, if it's not working we for you, in shallow waters, Captain. I really don't know what, what to suggest. Um, also, if you're looking for a game code, uh, you know, understand that the world is a big place and game distribution... Two, one, ready. Uh, in some parts of the world is a little bit different, a little, I don't know how to say, I guess maybe less regulated or a bit more open than it is in, let's say, Western Europe or North America. 
Uh, that being said, uh, I'm not going to give you a code for the game. I, I don't have any to give. I just have the one that I have. <clears throat> um, so, yeah. Just keep that in mind. Uh, I, I don't know what to suggest. Um, Smoke on the horizon. Bearing three, zero, four. It's been a very, very, very long time since I've used the internet to, two, um, two. Ready. you know, get games that are potentially less than legal. <laughs> so, I don't know. Um, I wouldn't really recommend asking for codes in a YouTube comment section. I don't think you're going to be that, or I don't really think that that's the place to do it. So, yeah, just um, keep that in mind. Anyway, this just uh, just thought I should mention that instead of, you know, having to reply to all the comments individually. Uh, who knows if you're even watching this, people who are asking. But hey, at least I put it out there, so my job there is done. Anyway, guys, I will see you when we get off to the coastal waters and hopefully find ourselves another freighter to sink. See you guys in a bit. All right, so we've had... A little bit of, you know, buzzing by the RAF here rather continually. And uh, we can see these guys. They're flying at a very quick pace. But, um... They're high up, and they don't really appear to be making bombing runs. They're just sort of buzzing us. So, um, you know, it's a bit like what's going on today in the Black Sea, only uh, it's World War II. So, you know, Germans and Brits, not Russians and NATO. So, yeah, there's there's some current events for you. A little, little timely comparison to uh, real life, I guess. Now, this might be a bombing run. And really, I, instead of trying to unload my anti-aircraft weapons on this guy, I should just, you know, dive down and, um... And just ignore him. But, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's difficult not to, because... Aircraft spotted, bearing it's a target, one, nine, man. Five. But like I said, this guy doesn't seem like he's lining up bombing runs. He's just sort of tailing us. Which is, you know, a little bit frustrating. But, um... What can you do? Really, what what can you do? I, I suppose dive down. But, uh... <clears throat> yeah. No real reason to, to load in there. I, I was convinced that that bomber was going to be making... A bombing run on me, but it didn't. Maybe it will this time. It certainly looks like this guy's going much slower. So perhaps the first plane I saw wasn't a bomber. It did look like it was going much quicker than those guys do. So it could have been a scout, maybe a mosquito or something. It was a twin engine plane, so... You know, I'd, I'd assume it was something like a mosquito. And, um... Yeah, that that last plane was definitely a bomber, but he doesn't seem to have taken an interest in us. Maybe he didn't see us. I don't know. I'm not going to pretend like I know. Two, two, seven. Maybe he was just toying with us, huh? No, that's a completely different plane and well outside our visual range. All right. Well, we're getting close to our area of operations, which uh, should be out of range of most RAF vehicles, I hope. And what do we got up there? Probably not something I can catch. All stop. We're approaching our final waypoint. Thirteen knots, eh? So yeah, we're not going to be able to catch you. I don't imagine. But let's get ourselves out of our any aircraft turret. I've been there for quite a long time. Dieter, let's get under. Periscope that. And see. No, we're done on the ladder. Come on, Gundrum. 
Come on. Get Engage under. Electric motors. There we go. Current depth. Just see One, if there's anything zero around. meters. Well, it's not sounding like there's anything. All right. Well then, whoops, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Let's go ahead, hit up the time acceleration, just wait things out, and uh, I will be back when I've got some convoys to sync. All right, well, we got something. And I think it's coming straight for us. Engage electric motors. Current depth, one, zero meters. Not quite right for us. New waypoint. Course. But I bet if we three, position two, ourselves eight. There, Returning to course. Let's go ahead and get out of that view. Slow that down for now. Bring up the periscope. yet. Alright, what's our range on this sucker? Six kilometers and he's going how quickly? Twelve knots. speed up then. How quick, or how far out? Two clicks? Let's get up to the target periscope. Oh, come on. This is kind of a botched hunt. Spin it around. Guy should be right in front of us. There. It's a lone ship, though, so we might be able to pop up and just hit it with a deck gun. And I think that's going to do, or that's going to have to be what we do. Although he is taking evasive maneuvers now, so let's just see six knots. Yeah, now we should be able to catch him. Sometimes it's handy when they spot your periscope because they slow right down to start beeping and wobbing. Beeping? Bopping and weaving? Bobbing and weaving? Any of those that you wish, it's what they do. Okay. Uh, no. I wanted to zoom in and I hit the plus sign. Can I... Can I please move my periscope? Thank you. <clears throat> so we're kind of chasing this guy down. Um, if we get into a good shooting position here, though, we might be able to get him with a single shot. Firing two, three. And we'll find out how well that goes. Um... Yeah, not gonna happen. All right, well let's do that. Switching to impact detonation only. Magnetic detonator switched on. Two, one. Close. So we've been rolling with the magnetic detonators, and you can see how close they get, and they still don't detonate. So, oh, son of a bitch. Fine. There's only one way to do this. Blow all ballast. Max, we're gonna need you on deck because we are going to be shooting at that ship. Ooh, the waves are loud today, aren't they, gentlemen? Hello, guys. <clears throat> I guess we didn't really need Max on deck if I'm going to be doing the shooting. 
just raise it up a little bit. And now that we're alongside him, we can probably drop down. Slow speed ahead. To two. Oh, that quieted the seas a little bit. No return fire, which is good. This is not a ship that's all that dangerous to be doing this kind of maneuver to. And can we just get a bit lower? There we go. Let's try and disable their engines. Yeah, burn! And there we go. She's going down. Bye-bye. Doesn't look like we got anything under the water line, but uh, her engines have definitely stopped, and she is definitely on fire, which is glorious. All right, guys, we still got our irregular shapes on the side of the boat, which is always good. I don't like it when that annoying Brooklyn Nazi changes my ship. That's another ship down. Let's take a look at our mission objectives, and we're still sitting pretty. Not quite done, but, um, you know, we're doing all right. Uh, while we're on the surface, let's pull that in. And I think that's going to be a good place to leave the video for today. So let's just go ahead and save the game. What's looking for Winston? Well, this time around, we got Winston. All right, guys, a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video. Leave your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, amusings, what have you below. Look at that. We're doing incredibly well. I quite, quite like that. Uh, thank you all very much for watching.